Ground pork is simply pork that has been ground and finely chopped. You can find it in your local grocery in the meat section and you get it unseasoned and fresh. And I want you to remember that you can use ground pork for any recipe that calls for ground meat. So we're talking tacos, pastas, meatballs, burgers, anything. But today we're going to be cooking Italian stuffed pork meatballs. So when you get your meat from your local grocery, it's going to look just like this. Again, I want to reiterate that you can use ground pork for any recipe that calls for ground meat. Just take a clean fork, put it in your large mixing bowl. And this recipe is great too because it's a one dish wonder. So you just add everything to the bowl and it's nice and simple. To our ground meat, we're going to add two whisked eggs. And then we're going to add one cup of breadcrumbs. You can use whole wheat breadcrumbs or panko breadcrumbs, whatever you have. And we're gonna mix that together. And it's okay to make a little bit of a mess. So now that our breadcrumbs and our eggs are mixed into our ground pork, we're gonna add our seasonings. Seasonings are simple today, only a couple pinches of salt, a couple pinches of black pepper, and then we're gonna add some red pepper flakes, a tablespoon or two will do and we're gonna add garlic powder, about a teaspoon or so. Mix that all together, and we're about ready to make our meatballs. So making meatballs is really easy. All you do, you just grab a small handful, depending on how big you like your meatballs is how big you're gonna make your handful. Just in it in a rough, a rough circle here. So something great about this recipe too is that you can really get your kids involved, because cooking with your kids is a win-win situation, no matter how old they are, but your kids will be really proud of the culinary creation they make with these meatballs. And I want to reiterate again, you can use ground pork in place of any ground meat in any recipe. With a 70 to 30 lean to fat ratio, it's really healthy and protein packed. What makes these Italian stuffed meatball is a slice of mozzarella in the center of your meatball. Really easy, pick up your meatballs that you just made, put your thumb in the middle, give it a nice space for your mozzarella, place it right in the center, and you're gonna form the ground pork right around the mozzarella. And that's it. So you're gonna do that for all of them so that they all have that special surprise in the center. This recipe is a real crowd pleaser. Not only is the seasoning delicious, but ground pork is delicious. And with the mozzarella surprise in the center, everyone's gonna be going back for seconds. We're using a slow cooker because it's easy, it's convenient, and it's little attention cooking. We're gonna add our sauce first. We're gonna use a 28 ounce jar of tomato sauce. But you can use whatever you want, marinara, vodka sauce, Alfredo sauce, whatever your favorites are. Add it to the crock pot. So now simply all you have to do is add your pork meatballs to your slow cooker, adding it to the sauce. And we're gonna cook these on high for six hours or you can do it on low for eight hours. You're gonna to wanna to turn these halfway through cooking. It's not necessary, but it's definitely helpful. Again, a slow cooker is so convenient. However, if you want to bake them in the oven, that's always an option too. So about 350, 375 for 20 to 30 minutes until your pork is cooked all the way through. Our meatballs are done and I'm so excited to enjoy them. They're cooked all the way through. And you're going to want to put three or four here on a submarine bun. And remember, remember inside we've got a little surprise. I am so excited to enjoy these. Another option when you're using your slow cooker, you can use a slow cooker liner so it's easy cleanup. Take the liner out, throw it away, and you're done. And they're safe to use too and you can find them anywhere in your grocery store. My instinct is to add a little bit more cheese on top of here, but don't forget, there's that mozzarella in the center of these wonderful meatballs. I am so excited to enjoy these. 